Okay, Water Science, this is a career reading. Okay, we're going to find out what's coming in for you, what you're currently going through, and what's coming in for you, okay? So what you're currently going through, you got the Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I feel like right now, you might be dealing with um, trying to keep your emotions balanced at your job. Or maybe you guys work with, because um, the King of Cups kind of reminds me of like a calm. Maybe you guys like are meditators, do Reiki with the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like you guys are learning something new. Maybe you guys are learning Reiki. Maybe you guys are learning how to be healers. Okay, King of Pentacles, maybe you guys are trying to start your own business here. And then the Queen of Wands, I feel like you guys have a lot of power. First of all, you have three, two kings and one queen and then a page. It's like because you're learning something brand new. So I feel like you have a lot of experience underneath of your belt, right? Wands, Pentacles, Cups. But um, I just feel like you guys are learning something new. You have the Ace of Wands. You guys might be starting something brand new here, learning something new. I know I just said that 50 billion times, but maybe you guys really are. And like, okay, you have the page and the king. So it's like whatever it is that you guys are learning, it's something that you guys are going to be able to grow into something that's long-term and stable here with the king of pentacles. The three of cups, this might be something that you do with friends, okay? Or maybe this will help you get closer to like... Um, Maybe this is a spiritual job. It doesn't have to be a spiritual job, but with the King of Cups and the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands, I kind of feel like it might be, okay? And especially nowadays, everybody else is turning spiritual, so why not, right? But you could be like a healer, a nurse. Um, you could be somebody who um, works in like the money industry, like maybe at a bank. You have the judgment card. You could be somebody who works for court. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like right now there is a decision that you need to make here. Um, you have the Lover's card. Maybe there's something that, maybe, I feel like whatever it is that you're trying to do with the Ace of Wands, the Lovers, it's something that you love doing. Something that you feel from the heart that you love doing. Something that brings you a lot of peace and stability at the same time. And also, you might be able to create your own hours with the Judgment card. Work whatever times that you want. You are your own boss. I feel like that's what it's going to be like. And then you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups, too. Whatever job that you're doing might have to do with helping other people, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're very meticulous. You know what it is that you want and you go for it. And you're not somebody who just, like, you know, um, breadcrumb, breadcrumb stuff. It's like you want to make sure you get every single thing done. So I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, it's like you might be studying something brand new, but it's kind of like maybe you already know about this, but maybe you're learning a different part about the thing that you already know about. So like, let's say if like with tarot, maybe you're learning about Reiki and then maybe you're learning about like, you know, um, <laughs> moving shit with your mind. Like just, just saying like you guys are going just further down. I feel like you're just, you're going to be an expert at what it is that you do. You got the Five of Pentacles. I do feel like maybe you've been like, um... You might be financially struggling at the moment, but you also may be feeling like you're abandoned or feeling like left out or like the black sheep in the family. Maybe you always felt like you couldn't fit in, but like now I feel like you have so much power. It's like you're very, I feel like you're very pure and what it is that you want, you get. You might have a lot of people who are jealous of you because um, you're always so successful or you're always able to come up with like certain things that maybe they wish that they could get, but they never couldn't. Like anybody in general I'm talking about. Okay, but I do feel like... Um, you have the fool. I do feel like you guys are going to make this, make it, I feel like there's a lot of good shit coming in for you guys. All right? But you have the queen of swords, the five of swords, and the fool. I do feel like your mind might be playing a little bit of tricks with you with the five of swords here. You might be, um, you have two fives, first of all. But it's like, I know there's a challenge here, but I feel like it's all, like, in your mind. I feel like you might be your worst enemy on this part, right? It's like, I feel like you need to believe more in what it is that you're doing, okay? Especially if you're helping other people, you can't go wrong with that, right? So it's like, keep on pushing forward. Don't give on up on, don't give up on what it is that you're trying to do. Just because it's something that isn't really getting anywhere, or so it feels like it's too um, challenging at the moment. Sometimes we have to be challenged to see how far we're going to go. To see if we're ever going to give up. Um, the universe is saying, keep on pushing forward. You have the judgment, the fool card, the lover's card, three major arcanas right here, back to back to back. And this is about making the decision um, and doing it with love, making a decision out of love and moving forward and taking a risk and not holding yourself back out of fear of like rejection, fear of abandonment, fear of money issues, whatever it is, do it with like love and do it with happiness and, and positivity so that way you can get it back. With the Queen of Swords, you might be a public speaker, you could be a writer, you could be 
um, really good with your birds. You could even be like a counselor or something like this. It doesn't have to be. Of course, I'm going to mention a whole bunch of different things because there's multiple people who watch my readings, right? But you could be dealing with the law, okay? You could be like a cop or a judge or somebody who works with the law, maybe even a lawyer or something like this, or maybe you deal with paperwork. But it could be any of those. But you have the Four of Wands. This is about making a commitment to yourself to not give up. Making a commitment. <laughs> making a commitment. This is like back and forth energy. And then the Four of Wands is a commitment. So if they make it a co commitment and not going back and forth with things, like just do what it is that you really want to do. Maybe you have multiple things in your mind that you want to do. But the universe is saying make a commitment to one thing. Master that. Ace that. Then move on to the next. Okay. So the next I'm going to pull for my career cards. Um, these have certain jobs in it. It doesn't mean that you're doing the job, so, but we're just going to, it has some type of, um, there's words on it. <laughs> Sometimes I can't talk. You have the Justice card. You, the Judgment, the Queen of Swords, the Justice card. You guys might be working for the justice system. It says police, military, in courts, criminal justice, or anything in the legal field. Maybe even detective work or fucking, just like, government work or something. I don't fucking know. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Make sure to be honest and ethical in money matters. Something in your life needs to be brought to alignment in your life. So I definitely feel like you guys are searching for balance right now with the King of Cups. You guys might be balancing a lot of stuff and right now you're trying to balance out your emotions, not letting your emotions get the best of you. So maybe you're getting really stressed out or maybe you're just trying to keep cool through like these struggles that you're trying to go through. I feel like you're doing a good job of it. I mean you got a lot of strong cards. The only two cards that I see that are not that high are the two fives and fives are about challenges and change maybe you're having a hard time going through a change here but know that it'll all be worth it in the end then you have money manager like i told you, you guys might be dealing with money or dealing with the bank or working in a bank or something like that with the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles it says expect positive financial exchanges in your life no expect positive financial changes in your life banker financial advisor accounting or any other career in finance your hard work is now paying off enjoy the fruits of your labor See, so I do feel like with all the, these aces here and all these good cards that things are opening up for you. You're going to have a lot of new things coming in for you. And I feel like it's, you know, it's going to be something that's worth celebrating here. Like, I feel like you should be proud of yourself for accomplishing everything that you guys accomplished so far. Because, you know, you still have so much more to keep on going up. It's not the end. It's just the beginning, right? And then you have happiness. See? Things are going well and feeling fulfilled in life. Go after your dreams. The universe is giving you a big yes. You stop appreciating the good things in your life. Look around. That's a negative part of the card. It doesn't mean that that's the part. Ignore that part. You could have been ignoring um, or not appreciating the good stuff. But I feel like you guys overcame that. It's like you guys are working through this. You do have craft or maybe you guys use your hands for your work. I feel like you guys are very crafty. Maybe you guys make jewelry or maybe you guys write like poems or write stories or maybe you guys are motivational speakers or I don't know, sign language or something. I don't know, but I feel like with the crafter, it says the talent is just waiting to be expressed with your hands. Homemade products, jewelry or some kind of craft project, even Reiki or healing with your hands or, you know, shit like that energy work um it says start a small business at home by creating novelties by hand so whatever it is that you're trying to do i do feel like whatever you like you're trying to create something for your future from your own um things like from your own thing you have beginning and then you have spirituality so you guys might be digging more into your spirituality more into like um i'm hearing ancestral stuff so like i don't know ancestral karma and that's what I was kind of hearing. Maybe you guys are kind of dealing with some of that stuff. But I feel like that's kind of being healed as, um, look at all these cards. So whatever. And then you have the Knight of Cups. The universe is trying to bring you in a gift, okay? The angels are trying to bring you in a gift. So, um, let them know that you're open to receiving. And, yeah, so I'm going to go. I have to go brush my daughter's hair. She's in the bath. But I hope this helps. If it resonates, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good day. Toodles. We have the Eight of Wands, so keep on pushing forward. Toodles.